I, uh, I'm not uh, standing here this morning to try to convince you of a, of a sentence. Uh, the sentence has been agreed to. I'm really speaking to a parole board that uh, some members may not uh, have been born yet. Uh, Mr. Uh, Lawrence will eventually appear in front of them and what they, I don't know what they'll see. They might see a very timid, meek, 49 or 50 year old man uh, who will be obviously seeking to be released. And I would, I would beg of them, I want this to be part of his permanent record as he goes off to state prison. I would beg of those parole board members to think about the agony and the pain that this man has caused. This little baby, ironically enough, was at Sloan Kettering. At about the same time, my daughter was there. And I remember, like it was yesterday, Diane and I sitting there with our daughter who was in, the, in her 20s, but because of the nature of her illness, she was in the pediatric center at Sloan Kettering. And seeing all these families going about, knowing that you could pick one at random, and that kid's not going to make it. But baby Maddox made it. She beat it. She was a hero. She beat the cancer. And what should have been a cause for celebration turns into this, where we are today. The person most responsible for protecting her takes her life away in this insidious manner. And I know. I know we all want to know why. Why did he do it? The fact is he did do it. And we forget there's evil in this world. And I don't think that evil can be extinguished in 25 years or 50 years. So I plead with the parole board, who I don't know, I won't, God, God only knows where I'll be in 25 years. I plead with you, don't let this man out. And now 